Kirk, you guys are used to missing guys, obviously, this, this year, but to take care of the ball that well without your point guard, just I guess what's that say about the, the focus of the guys who are out there tonight? You know, for the most part this season, um, um, you know, well, I would say the last uh, a couple of, of months, uh, we've done a better job of, of taking care of the basketball. Um, and there's been some painful games where we haven't, and, and we've taken that to heart. Um, certainly with the moving parts and, and Kyle uh, being a late scratch, um, you know, that sometimes can uh, add uh, an element that can get you a little bit out of your, your normal game, and, and thankfully uh, that didn't mess with us at all. I, I thought the starters in particular uh, were very intentional, you know, offensively. Um, keeping it pretty simple. The game plan was pretty simple. Um, you know, the actions between either Tyler, Jimmy, or Bam, uh, and we were able to generate, you know, a lot of good shots uh, in our wheelhouse um, without turning the ball over. Um, you know, we just have to continue to get more consistent throughout the course of the game of staying in that wheelhouse of, of our strengths. Um, but certainly the, uh, the ball control... Um, was a big positive of, of tonight. And obviously it beats the alternative, but is there something psychological getting back over 500 before get, going out on the trip? Uh, I think it's good Can to get a win bit? before we go out there. You know, um, our, our, our guys are intelligent. You know, they, they understand, you know, what this road trip is about. Uh, we're, we're playing high-quality teams. Um, we have to play well. Um, both ends of the court, we have to be very connected. Um, and then you have to go through some things. You know, it, it, it's always a little bit gnarly uh, when you go on the road, and that's the part of it that I like. I, I want to see how we, we re respond um, and see if that uh, brings out a higher level uh, in our basketball team. Gabe, obviously, we've seen how steady he's been oh, when yeah. he's been healthy. How do you like that? Tyler, his his assists aren't anything new, but nine tonight in Kyle's absence. Yeah, Tyler's playmaking uh, was really important tonight. Um, and he had probably, what, four or five of his shots in his wheelhouse that went bounced around all over the place on the rim and um, and did not go down. I, I was as shocked as he was uh, on some of those. Um, so he made the adjustment and, and made some really nice uh, plays, um, you know, to set up other guys. Uh, and that's part of his uh, continuing evolution, you know, as, as, as uh, an offensive playmaker, that it's not just scoring, but it's, it's whatever's best, the best uh, shot we can generate for the team. Uh, and then Gabe, you know, if, um, until like he comes back and then you realize how much we missed him you know his his steadiness his two-way uh competitive nature he does it on both ends of the court uh he's he's one of our very best communicators without a doubt he's constantly communicating <laughs> he's a great you know leader uh out there um when he's on the court he gets guys organized he's communicating um defensively um Offensively, he, he helps get guys to their spots. And then when he's out of the game, uh, he's, he's such a high IQ player that he's, he's constantly helping uh, whoever's on the, on the court um, with what he's seeing. And uh, that's just incredibly uh, valuable for our team. Spo, you've talked a lot about Caleb's growth, but it almost seems like he's always in the right spot offensively, just knowing the spacing. When you yeah. look, I guess, back to last season compared to now, do you notice a difference, I guess, in him knowing when to pick his spots or where to go? Into yeah, he's, he's getting a whole lot more comfortable in his role. Um, he's really good on the baseline without the ball, you know, working uh, behind the defense. That, that didn't happen as much tonight, uh, but he's a great spot-up three-point shooter. And... You know, I, I always feel like I'm reminding him, hey, don't forget you're a great shooter. Um, this is not an aberration. You know, I, I watch him in, in practice now for a year and a half. Uh, when he gets his feet set um, and he has time, he's as, he's as good as anybody, you know, uh, out there. Um, so that also helps uh, with us as well, and he's um, – really continuing to improve uh, with his dribble handoff game. 
getting us to second actions um, and helping other guys get open shots. Uh, and then, you know, he probably had, what, two or three tonight where he crashes the glass where he's looking to cut. Uh, and then the ball goes up. He just has a great instinct for the ball. It, none of those materialized into anything tonight, but they could have been spectacular plays or extra possession plays for us, um, you know, that we'll need, to, you know, on this road trip as well. And then, again, in terms of Caleb, defensively, he made some big plays down the stretch, had that yeah. big double on LeBron that forced the, the turnover that led to the Tyler Hero three-pointer. Yeah. How important is Caleb just becoming to your defense overall? Yeah, his versatility is is vital, you know, to our group. Um, night after night after night, he's taking on all the different kind of challenges that this league can present, whether he's guarding the small, super quick guys uh, or whether he's guarding the bigger wings, uh, or then he's switching on to centers. Um, and he has great instincts, you know, for deflections and steals. Um, our defense always just seem, seems to be a whole lot more active and fast uh, when he's out on the court. Um, and, um, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a playmaker out there, you know, which really fits with Jimmy and Bam. He got his uh, his efficient 27, as he will, but your thoughts on how the team not just defended LeBron, but defended LeBron's playmaking opportunities as well? Yeah, um, and we had a couple, um, mistake, well, more than a couple. Uh, and, of course, he's going to force you into mistakes. Uh, they missed, you know, three or four threes um, when we weren't, we, we weren't totally... Um, on the same page of rotating and getting getting to guys, uh, um, but you know it, it just really helps to have somebody like Jimmy, you know, throughout the course of the game that's going to take that challenge. And you know he's coming off of uh, an injury, and there was no question of like who's going to match up with him to start the game, and then for the major majority of the possessions. Then in the fourth quarter, they went small with LeBron at the five and. Um, I joked about it before the game. I never had the guts to do that, uh, but that that's unique, um, and that speeds things up. Uh, so then, you know, I brought Bam back, and what I play him basically every minute in the second half. And hey, you know, you're out with, you know, sickness. You're welcome to coming back and playing, you know, 23 minutes in the second half, uh, which was needed. So if you don't have a guy like Bam, and they, you know, um, try to to speed you up. You know, with LeBron at the five, uh, it could have been a disaster. But the, for those fourth quarter minutes, LeBron, was, I mean, uh, Bam was able to match up with him, and we we're at least able to stay home a little, a little bit more. Okay, thank you.